All right, welcome back. We want to talk about the answers to the test. This is the answer key. Let's take a look at the true and false section, first of all. So we are here taking a look. Um, give me one second, guys. All right. So A on true and false, it says, hold on. The city of trees will be in the English city of Manchester. Is that true or false? Well, let's take a look. The city of Manchester in England has embarked on an ambitious plan. So there you have it. You guys can see the answer is right here. So we'll highlight that. All right. So the answer there, hmm, the city of trees will be in the English city of Manchester. Huh. So I think the answer key on this one's wrong. It's saying false, but in fact, it's true. Um, so A should be true. All right, uh, B, the project director. Ah, that's funny. All right, part of the problem is I, I'm on the wrong. I'm on the wrong answer key. That was crazy. All right. Let's try that again. So the answer is, in fact, true. According to the right answer key. All right, B. The project director said there are five main aims of the project. Did he say five? All right, first of all, let's find Ames. Here it is. Project Director Tony Marshall explained that the Green Venture had three, three main, three main aims. Oh, don't do that. It says three main aims. So that has to be false. The director hopes many couples will get engaged in New Woodland. So that is not actually true. Uh, the director hopes many couples, why do you say couples? Uh, it says a tree for every man, woman, and child. Next, we're very focused on bringing existing woodland into management. Okay, it doesn't say couples, it says families, if you want to be more specific, right? It says a tree for every man, woman, and child. That is not a couple. So we got to go false on that. False. The director said people understand more about the benefits of trees. Well, yeah, that's true. And that's right here. And in understanding more about the benefits that trees and woodlands bring to our society. So that's what he's trying to do. Manchester wants to be a world-class city. Is that true or false? Uh, well, let's see here. Manchester wants to be a world-class city region. So that is a true statement. Okay, so E is true. 
Number or letter F, the director said the natural environment must keep up with the develop with development. So F is also true. Let's see where it says that. But the natural environment needs to keep up with that. Yeah. Number, well, F, F is true. Gee, the article said trees add to noise pollution. Trees add to noise pollution. No, 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 no. They actually take away from noise pollution. Uh, let's see. Right here. They help screen for noise pollution. That means reduce it, not add to it. And then H, the article said urban heat islands lead to flooding. Well, that's false. Let's see, urban heat islands effect and also reducing flooding. So, well, that's interesting. That actually would be true, wouldn't it? The article said urban heat islands lead to flooding. Uh, they can also help cities and towns become more resilient to climate change, both in terms of things they like reducing the urban heat island effect and also reduce flooding. Wow. So that's pretty powerful. Okay, so that is false. They're like two separate things, really. All right, let's take a little break there. When we come back, we'll jump in and take a look at the cinnamon match. See you soon. Bye, students.